OK, uh, so uh, I'm presenting uh, a simple and strong baseline solution for uh, uh, for the coverage in initiative showing the data. Uh, the, uh, the whole solution is actually based on pattern matching. It's pretty simple. It's actually uh, uses only some simple statistics and pattern matching, nothing else. Uh, no large bird models. And uh, I hope uh, that uh, my, my, my talk uh, uh, give you some, some maybe clues uh, why it's important to consider uh, simple uh, baselines uh, and some simple approaches when you in the low data regime. And uh, first of all, just to remind you, the final leaderboard looks like this. And uh, you can see that the gap uh, between my solution and first and the second place is, uh, is, is not that big compared to the gap uh, with the, uh, to the fourth solution. And actually it shows that uh, in such settings, uh, in, when, when, you, when you have not that much label data, uh, really simple, simple strategies work uh, surprisingly well. Uh, just, uh, I think you're, you're uh, all familiar with the task, and I will not, uh, I will not spend time on explaining it, and just uh, uh, to make this presentation self-contained. And so the task and the data, I think uh, all of this uh, stuff is familiar for you. Uh, I will, I would just like to highlight that the, uh, actually the training set. And uh, the test set, they are actually pretty large. And uh, the train set was about uh, 14,000 documents. And each document is uh, 350 sentences uh, on average. And it's kind of also may, might be an obstacle to use uh, some heavy models and do a lot of training, especially if you have no such resource, uh, not a lot of, a lot of resources. Uh, and just jumping straight to the solution, I would uh, uh, I will I would give you like a step by step uh, path like uh, like my my uh, like my path was when, when I uh, approached uh, the solution. So it will uh, it would be like a uh, increasingly uh, complex. Uh, pattern matching, but still everything is super simple. And I think uh, if we look at the training labels, if we start looking at training labels, we, we already see that actually all, almost all uh, labels that we have, there, they are capitalized sequences of words. So actually uh, we, we have uh, uh, just sequences of words uh, and each one starts with the capital letter. And if we use the simplest possible uh, approach, uh, like uh, just uh, find all uh, strings uh, that uh, sequences of words that starts with the capital letter, we can uh, and check whether this uh, whether this simple pattern matching approach uh, uh, works for the train labels. We, we already see that even. Uh, uh, even this simple uh, approach actually catches a uh, significant part of the uh, train label set. It actually uh, tells us that we already can have a pretty high recall. Uh, we don't know we know nothing about uh, the precision, but re uh, recall is pretty high. However, uh, we still missing something like uh, uh, not uh, sequences that contain non-capitalized uh, words like uh, conjunctions and maybe uh, prepositions, some maybe letters. And if we do, uh, if, uh, if we uh, add all of these uh, possible uh, connection words uh, as uh, uh, to our pattern matching uh, strategy, uh, we will see that it, it will cover pretty much all the labels. And so, so uh, uh, we, we cover almost everything from uh, the train labels. It actually indicates that uh, if we if we extract all uh, 
all strings, uh, all capitalized strings, uh, they will uh, actually uh, so provide really high recall. Uh, still, uh, there are uh, a lot of false positives just by running uh, this pattern matching on the train set. We see a lot of false positives, like uh, just uh, non-related to data. Maybe some, uh, maybe some, uh, I don't know, uh, geographical or some meteorological, uh, uh, like uh, and oh, uh, some entities. Uh, and uh, just looking at the uh, train labels, we can see that actually they are. Uh, continue a lot of uh, uh, words that seems to be a strong indicators of uh, the uh, the sequence of words to be uh, a mention of data set. Uh, and th this words are like a database study data data set, and. Uh, just of leaving or uh, so just leaving the the mentions uh, that contain uh, these keywords uh, seem to solve uh, a, lo a lot of false positive problems. Of course, we uh, we sacrifice some uh, uh, some recall, uh, but uh, uh, as we, as we see that uh, a lot of a lot of uh, labels in the train set actually contain uh, some of uh, uh, words like study, survey, assessment, and actually this is the list I came up in the final solution. Uh, so uh, I uh, uh, I leave only the uh, on only this, the sequences that contain uh, these words. It was kind of incremental. Uh, incremental approach i tried one word uh just uh put it to the scoring and some, something like this and so uh and it it, it was like a empirical uh, approach to finding out what keywords work the best not all, not not uh, actually uh, i tried some uh, some other words like program or maybe maybe something like uh something like archive and a lot of other words that are present in the train uh, in train labels uh, I, I uh, think I tried all most of them and these seem to work uh, the best and uh, okay and uh, go going further and if we we extracted something that uh, some some, some, str some strings that contain keywords like for, for instance, assessment, but we see that uh, actually they are uh, 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 we extracting a lot of mentions of some uh, non data set entities like organizations, maybe some uh, reference to some tools or something like this. And of course, an obvious solution here would be uh, just uh, drop all of uh, the uh, for find some uh, some uh, some words that uh, indicate an organization or two, and j just drop this uh, just drop this solution. Uh, <laughs> this ex mm. uh, this is an extensive list. Yeah. No, no, I'm just fascinated. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah so so uh, just uh, this extensive list of something like it, it was. Uh, uh, obtained by just inspecting what I got from the pattern matching uh, uh, and it's, uh, just trying to find out uh, what kind of words uh, words uh, can refer to organization or maybe something like something like this and I uh, just uh, came up with this uh, this list and uh, if any of those words present in the mention uh, I just uh, just discard this mention. I, uh, I I actually understand that uh, it also drop uh, it, uh, we, we we also drop you know, some some uh, true positives uh, for, for instance some composite uh, names of data set when we have name of organization and name of the data set just uh, 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 just in a row uh, I I actually tried to extract organizations 
uh, organization names and look some some uh, something some capital sequences uh after uh, after organization names and actually it, it, it wasn't uh, it wasn't successful so i understand that uh, here we uh, uh we lose some uh recall but still we we gain a lot of precision uh and going even further with filtering so we uh we extract a lot of uh so a, lo a lot of sequences of catalyst word and try to filter them. Uh, uh, I also used a simple heuristic that uh, uh, just uh, look for uh, sequences, uh, just capitalized sequences that are followed by parentheses with some abbreviation or chemical case uh, inside the brackets. Uh, so I. Uh, so so just yeah. sorry to ask a question here so so this is fascinating and and it's i really appreciate the clarity that you're bringing to this but um in terms of setup essentially what you're doing are you you're not creating a predictive model you're just creating a set of rules and out yeah. of that set of rules you're going to pull out what you think are data sets. So you're not creating a list of features. This is a, you're not describing the uh, a predict the the developing a data um, uh, model that is then going to predict whether or not we see a mention. What you're doing is you're looking at the corpus, you're developing a set of rules, and out of that set of rules, you're going to say these are the data sets. So it's not a statistical model, it's a rule-based model. Is that yeah, right? Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. We uh, actually, we, 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 can, we can treat it <laughs> like a, uh, every... Uh, every uh, well, that's like where a, I thought you were going to head. I thought where you were going to head is, I'm going to create this, I'm going to create the features, and then I'm going to no. use these features to predict. But as I'm listening to this, I think you're just going to say, this is the set of rules that indicate yep. this is how the author identifies a data set. Uh, something like this. I think that, uh, of course, uh, everything I mentioned uh, before, uh, they are actually features. We can, uh, if if we have something like, uh, uh, if we have uh, more data, if if, if yeah, I if you more had data, more data, you could create a, a a model, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can, and I can put uh, all of this like a uh, is uh, uh, right. any. Is any of these top words present? Just uh, zero, one feature, and something like something like this. Yeah, but, but they are they can be used for as features. But uh, here we we have something like a simple rule based approach. Right. So yeah. from a from a practical point of view, um, you are either going to say this is a data set or this is not a data set. There's no probability associated with it. So we can't <laughs> rank in any systematic way, the ones that you think are highly likely to be a data set and the ones that are less likely? No, 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 uh, no, no uh, to, uh, up to this point, yes, but uh, the following slide. <laughs> ah, sorry, sorry. <laughs> uh, the following slide will change. <laughs> we'll, okay, we'll, great. We'll, great. We'll change the perspective a little bit. So uh, I'm not quite sure about this, Parentheses because I see uh, you can actually see the cases that are filtered. Say so, so they're uh, like um, some uh, non-data set uh, words, but I'm not quite sure how these parentheses actually this feature really works because I'm uh, I'm completely sure that uh, if people put a, uh, if people uh, create an abbreviation for a data set. Uh, it, or something. Uh, if they create abbreviation for something, it it means something. <laughs> it means that's it, right. That's yeah, right. Yeah. yeah. So, it's not just for they don't just do this just for data sets. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so uh, I'm no. I, I I wanted to highlight that I'm not only filtering uh, the all of these cases I provided, but I'm doing something else. But I'm not completely understand what. <laughs> And uh, okay, so brackets. So I uh, the, the the point here is uh, we change a bit the pattern to look for sequence of capitalized words that followed by brackets with abbreviations inside. Uh, 
and actually it, it also helped uh, a lot. Finally, <laughs> go into a little bit <laughs> of some statistics. So the only feature I used uh, was uh, the, co the coherence uh, with the word data. <laughs> so I, I just, uh, for each uh, substring I found, I dropped uh, the parentheses and looked for the entire data I have, like train and test, uh, and collected it counts how many times uh, the, uh, the uh, uh, this substring present uh, without the day, uh, present uh, uh, totally, and how many times it present with the word data. And this uh, relative frequency uh, actually provides a really, really good feature uh, and, uh, for indicating data sets. So if something co-occur with the word, uh, if some sequence of words co-occur with data, uh, it seems that uh, it's more likely to be a data set. And I just use some simple threshold. I have not uh, uh, enough time to, I hadn't been enough time to uh, check out thresholds, but actually uh, I, I tried some, some, some of them and uh, low threshold uh, uh, significantly Draw, uh, drops their performance, so we, we, or absence of threshold at all. So uh, this is uh, the uh, uh, kind of uh, uh, the feature that allows us to rank, uh, to rank or provide some probability. The only problem here is that some uh, keywords are actually containing data. So uh, the, uh, the data is, uh, for for example, I'm looking for just a substring data. Uh, in, in lowercase, and uh, for example, data set already contain data, and they have all this frequency equal to one. Uh, I tried uh, working with the uh, with uh, the substrings that have uh, data inside uh, dimension, like uh, by by filtering them uh, by other coherency. Like I, I tried to uh, count coherency with data from uh, uh, string. So, so if there is data from string uh, and the, uh, and the uh, co uh, co-cures frequently with the substring, it also might indicate that, that uh, it's a data set. But actually it was not in the final solution. So the, the, the only, uh, everything that contain data, uh, data set, database, everything, uh, they have actually this frequency equal to one. Mm, there might be some place to discover here also. Uh, and just to, uh, just to, to maybe highlight how the prediction phase uh, works. Uh, every so I I, uh, I run the pattern matching with this pattern matching and filtering uh, for train and test documents, uh, and uh, collected something like a, di a big dictionary and look for uh, inclusion as a substring in the test documents. So. I, uh, if the, this mention is present as a substring in the test document or not. Uh, I dropped the parentheses and I didn't use any uh, lower casing, removing punctuation. Mm, it's really strange, but I got lower scores when I tried something something like this, just cleaning out, cl uh, cleaning up uh, 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 the substrings and uh, perform uh, substring matching when the, everything is lowercase. Not sure, it, it's it's a bit strange, not, not sure why, why, why it happened. Uh, and I'm not also sure, uh, is it uh, an important feature or not, but uh, just after, uh, uh, for, 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 for if I detected something, uh, so I detect substrings without brackets, and if I detect something and look, uh, are there some uh, parentheses after uh, the, the detection, and if there are some uh, abbreviation like uh, uh, abbreviation like uh, strings, I added uh, them as a separate solution. I can you give you an example. Some, some, sometimes people uh, name a series of data sets like NELS, uh, for instance, they give a series of NELS uh, 
72, NELS 84, and something like this in parentheses. Uh, and I actually tried to get something something like this. Yeah, and just uh, just going uh, through the solution uh, uh, through the whole pipeline. Uh, find all capitalized mentions followed by parentheses with abbreviation inside uh, for both both train and test documents. Uh, clean clean up the keywords and stop words. Uh, uh, apply simple threshold uh, uh, by the uh, co-occurrence co statistics, and then find all uh, occurrences of the detected mentions in the test deck. So and, uh, the the whole pipeline uh, seems pretty pretty straightforward. I want to also uh, highlight some other attempts I used. I used something like uh, some first patterns motivated templates. Uh, just uh, I'll cover it in the next slide. So something like uh, data samples obtained uh, from some capitalized sequence uh, data sets and uh, some enumeration of data sets separated by comma and maybe some 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 patterns that seems uh, to be. Uh, uh, seems to uh, give uh, uh, high precision. Mm, not sure why, I, I actually started with something like this. Uh, not sure why, they uh, actually show um, pretty pretty good results, but uh, it seems that they have a lot of, of false positives. I'm not sure why, maybe because of uh, some, uh, some uh, organizations or something like this uh also detected by these patterns but uh i actually didn't use the, them in the final solution however uh this simple uh, this simple pattern like data form uh, works pretty well uh, i also tried to, to dependency parsing and find maybe children of uh children of the word data set in the dependency tree it was uh, not successful. It, it requires a lot of cleaning, uh, 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 and it, it cannot be used uh, out of the box. And uh, just an interesting uh, finding. Uh, I actually tried to find data sets in the ar archive papers titles, and I uh, also look for a simple pattern like some uh, some uh, some sequence of words uh, column and uh, the data set word any, anywhere anywhere after colon. And actually it uh, provides really high uh, really high precision uh, collection of data, data set names. Uh, but they are uh, may, maybe because of the difference in domain, I, see, I saw a lot of uh, public uh, uh, a, lo a lot of papers from um, like uh, uh, from medical domain, uh, and maybe yeah, this was a hard problem because it was across multiple domains. Um, yeah, yeah, and uh, so uh, extracting uh, so the, this actually this collection uh, wasn't uh, wasn't uh, that uh, actually that uh, provided any any good score, but uh, it is interesting itself uh, because. Uh, it's sometimes it's easy uh, to extract from the uh, the data set name from the title. It actually works pretty well uh, uh, for, for for such type of titles. And finally, I, I want to uh, give you a bit of motivation why I choose uh, this uh, simple uh, simple strategy of pattern matching and filtering. I actually had uh, uh, some, some experience with entity linking, and I know that in the low data regime, really simple simple approaches uh, work uh, surprisingly well. For instance, in uh, for entity linking, it's uh, so the task is uh, actually extract the substring from the text and link it to the database. Uh, uh, and the uh, coverage competition is like uh, the first step of empty linking is extract the substring or name name entity recognition or, or name entity detection. And in this uh, uh, for, for for this task, uh, uh, dictionaries uh, extracted from Wikipedia hyperlinks uh, 
actually, if you go to any uh, uh, Wikipedia page, there are some hyperlinks to other pages. Uh, for instance, uh, hyperlink to the page uh, that describes some person. And these mentions uh, that are actually in the hyperlinks provides uh, a lot of uh, a lot of uh, different forms of how can be uh, how can this entity be named. And it's a very strong baseline for anti-linking, just collecting these hyperlinks, these mentions from the Wikipedia, uh, and uh, just use it as a dictionary. Uh, it's, it's, it's a very strong baseline. It's, uh, uh, it requires a lot of data uh, and uh, a lot of efforts to improve uh, upon this baseline significantly in uh, low data regime. Also, I want to just uh, mention that uh, in hyperenemy uh, detection, uh, it's uh, the task of uh, detection words that are hypernames of other words. For, for instance, vehicle is the hypername for uh, car and bus. And uh, there are some recent publications that they are actually works pretty well. So super simple patterns like something like uh, other and another uh, another thing, uh, just extracting those patterns are still working, uh, still works pretty well compared to modern neural approaches. And actually maybe uh, my, uh, the fact that I know these papers and some, uh, some, some, time, uh, uh, some time ago I read them, maybe uh, the, uh, this was uh, some part of motivation why I choose to uh, uh, such a simple solution. And uh, finally, I, I want to uh, maybe uh, highlight that uh, when we have uh, when we have not enough data, uh, it's um, it, it, it worth it, uh, worth exp uh, exploring simple solutions. Uh, without uh, uh, some heavy transformers and bird models, everything like this. Sometimes uh, simple works surprisingly well, especially in uh, low data regime. And actually that's all. 